Welcome back to the shop, everybody. Uh, we're here with my yellow WRX on the lift, and we've got the nose bill funnel on, so that mean, can only mean one thing. We're about to burp the coolant in this thing, and that is cor exactly correct. And that's because we just did a timing belt service on this car, and that's going to be another video, so stay tuned for that one. But as we're about to do this, I realize this is the perfect opportunity to kind of go through, you know, getting coolant in the system, burping the air out of the cooling system in the, in the Subaru, especially with EJ engines, because it is a little bit more complicated than you would think. It's a little bit different. And it's really, really important because if you don't get all the air bubbles and air pockets out of the engine, then the cooling system is not going to work properly and you can have overheating issues. Um, similar to the issues that we've talked about with the radiator caps in another video. But this is really, really important stuff. So we're doing it anyway. Figured why not make a video for you. Before we dive into it, I just want to say, you know, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Check out flatironstuning.com for all your Subaru parts needs. That support goes a long way to helping us keep and come back to make these videos for you. And, uh, Let's get into it. So why, why are Subarus different? Why, why does, did Subaru make this hard? Well, in, in part, it's because it's a box range, but really it's because of where they put the thermostat. The thermostat is basically sitting right underneath the water pump. And this is the very bottom of the engine. You know, the timing belt rolls over this. And because the thermostat is at the bottom of the engine, that makes things a little bit different. A lot of engines, most commonly, they put the thermostat high up, you know, usually you know, somewhere right around the top radiator hose. And then, you know, when you're fill, filling up the engine with coolant, the coolant can go down to the bottom, it can go to the radiator, the engine block just moves up. And then the thermostat is just kind of like right at the top. And then there's really no issue getting the coolant to fill up both, both uh, the radiator and the engine. But with the Subarus, because the thermostat is at the bottom, you know, as you're filling things up, yes, coolant is gonna go into the radiator. You're obviously you're gonna fill it up with the nose pull funnel into the engine too. But that, that barrier between the two pockets that's what makes it a little bit more complicated. That's where it's, it's harder for all of the air to come out, plus the boxer engine kind of being like long and horizontal. You know, there, there's just obstacles to get all of the air out of the system easily. So that's where we use something like a nose bill funnel. So what this does is this allows us to, you know, basically fill the cooling system up, you know, know that we've got a little bit of extra there. And then when we start the engine, you're gonna see air bubbles come out, you know, we'll squeeze the hoses, whatever, we'll, we'll get all of the air bubbles out. Um, and then we're just going to let the engine idle and come up to temperature, let the fans come on a couple times because then we know that the thermostat has opened and coolant is moving back and forth between the radiator and the engine freely. Usually at that point, you'll see some more air bubbles come out. And we want to use the nose bill funnel because we've got extra coolant here. So if an air bubble comes out, you get that void gets filled with coolant. So we're not going to, you know, not going to let more air back into the system or hold air into the system. So we want to have a little bit of extra coolant volume as we're, as we're trying to burp the system. The other key thing here is the overflow tank. The overflow tank, we're gonna also make sure that there's just a little bit of coolant in there. Because, you know, as the engine comes up to temperature, coolant gets hot, it expands, it's gonna move into the overflow tank. But then when everything cools off, it's going to pull back uh, from the overflow tank back into the engine. And you have to have more than enough coolant in this overflow tank so that basically if there's any air pockets that move out, you can fill that, vo that void up with coolant. If you don't have enough coolant in the overflow tank and, and basically everything cools down, you can pull in air. So you could do a 100% perfect job of burping all of the air out of the system, but if you don't have coolant in the overflow tank, you're going to pull air, air bubbles right back in. Now you just ruined it. you got to start all over again. So um, yeah, with that, with all that being said, let's, let's put some coolant in this thing and let's see what happens. All right, so got coolant in the car, it's idling. We've got a good level in our funnel. This level might go up as the car warms up more. We're, we're close to operating temperature, but we gotta wait for the fans to come on at least to cycle once, if not twice, because that's when we're gonna know that the thermostat has opened and all of the coolant has been able to move back and forth between the radiator and the engine block. So if you're using a nose spill funnel, you, you wanna have like a known level in there, but don't fill it up to the top. Like leave plenty of headroom for, you know, as the car warms up, for the coolant to expand. Yeah, pretty much now it's just watch, wait, see if we get rid of some air bubbles. Um, also, just as a quick note, if you're putting in a, a new aftermarket radiator, double check your, your upper radiator hose. Make sure that there's no interference with the fans because that can uh, ruin your day real quick. Yeah, so far, knock wood, everything seems to be going okay now. So now we just, we just wait. Wait for those fans to kick on.
All right, so the car's off now. The fans cycled probably three times. Coolant level kind of grew and, and fell, and so now we're just going to let everything cool off. Um, we're going to you know just keep an eye on the level in the nose spill funnel, wait for the engine to cool off, so give it maybe like an hour, like come down in temperature a decent amount, make sure that you know we still are full in our auxiliary tank here, um, then put the radiator cap on and really there's nothing left to do but drive it. The thing with, with bourbon, the cooling system, again, is just you know use that nose spill funnel, make sure that you're, you're watching to make sure that the air bubbles come out, you know, and you know bubbles are coming out because the level is going to go down. So just make sure that there's coolant in here and just, just take your time. It's, it's boring to wait for the fans to come on, but it, you just, it's got to be done. So, yeah, that's all there, there is to it. Hopefully that's uh, helpful. Hopefully it's, uh, you enjoyed this video. And until next time, stay tuned for Flannery's Tuning.